Hey there everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you're watching this from. And this is going to be a talk on supporting others and supporting yourself, right? So as we all know, we all need uh, support from others, from ourselves as well. Uh, if we want to achieve certain things or if we want to do certain things or achieve certain goals. Now, there are many ways or many uh you know methods and supporting others it can be through you know verbally physically you know or just you know mentally or emotionally and spiritually it's kind of like guidance it's a, a way of showing that you actually care and that you actually want that person to succeed because that's the type of you know thing that someone needs in order for them to actually complete their goals or go through with their plans or actually you know proceed with the things that they want to do or the things that they want to achieve in life you know I mean, it's very hard, you know, to really get somewhere if you uh, don't have any guidance, if you don't have any people, you know, rooting you on. If It's really hard. I mean, it's not impossible. I'm not going to say that it's impossible because it isn't. You know, there's always a way and, you know, there's always a way for everything. So I'm not going to say that, you know, it can't be done. But what I'm saying is that it's going to be very, very difficult emotionally mentally spiritually and it can be quite draining as well because i don't know if about you guys but i don't know it just happens to be with me if i'm not doing something that i particularly like or that i particularly enjoy uh doing uh let's say for the rest of my life you know if it's some sucky job or if it's some you know a hobby that i'm just doing for money's sake or for popularity's sake i'm gonna have such a horrible time trying to come up with new ideas, new solutions, new uh, strategies to make it better or to improve on it because I don't see anybody supporting me, you know, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let's say with these things, you know, uh, with these videos that I'm making uh, with the short films. I mean, on, on, on Instagram, I get a decent amount of views and decent amount of likes because, you know, it's, it's good. I have a following there at least. You know, I, I'm not having like a huge page with billions of followers or thousands of followers, but, you know, I have a f select few who really uh, tune into my videos day in and day out and uh, tune in whenever I upload. Uh, so it's very rare now, but they do. So I appreciate you guys. You guys know who you are. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, it's because of you guys watching and because of you guys liking and commenting and maybe sharing. <laughs> I don't know. But then, you know, because of your support, uh, I continue to do this. But thanking you guys aside. Sorry about that. Um, we're, you know, let's say that I didn't have any of the support. And there are some days where, you know, I just don't get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of likes. I don't get a lot of comments or I might get some negative ones. But yeah, what I mean is that whenever you're doing something that you do not like, you don't necessarily like to do, or maybe you just have to do it for the sake of it, or, you know, you just have to do it because it's necessary. Necessary and you don't get the support, it can be really draining and really demotivating to do it. Like, let's, like, going back to, you know, my example, I'm getting sidetracked and going off track here and there, but let's just stick straight. Uh, so, yeah, so going back to what I was saying, uh, I mean, let's just go back to the previous example, uh, which was about the views, right, on Instagram and stuff. So on Instagram, I, yeah, I, I do get decent views. I do get decent likes. Sometimes not the best, but, you know, it's something. And I'm grateful. Once again, I'm grateful for that. But on YouTube, on the other hand, I upload on YouTube as well. It's pretty much the same content, but I'm just trying out different platforms to see which one works for me. Uh, so yeah, but uh, on YouTube, uh, I don't really have much followers uh, or subscribers. I mean, I only have like 16 at best. And I appreciate those 16 people so much uh, because they took the time to watch my videos. They took the time to subscribe and like and tune into every uh, video as well. So I appreciate you guys as well. I'm not forgetting about you guys. <laughs> So yeah, but uh, on YouTube I don't get a lot of likes and sometimes I get discouraged as well to upload even on Instagram and YouTube both uh, because I, you know, I don't get a lot of likes, I don't get a lot of following and I, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while now, like maybe I started this uh, back in 2000, what was it, 20? It's been two years and uh, there isn't really much growth, like I would say there's little i'm not gonna say there's nothing but there's not much growth uh, on channels or on the platforms i mean i've gotten a few followers so that's good uh but yeah but i mean it's two years is a long time but 
Uh, some people get their success five years, some people get their success uh, ten years. It all just is a matter of keep going at it and all that. But uh, yeah, going back to my point about support and relating this whole topic back to the talk. If I didn't have the support from you guys on Instagram, and if I didn't have you know the few of you, a few of my viewers and subscribers tuning in to my videos on YouTube, I would feel really discouraged. And it, most important thing, if I didn't really enjoy it and I did it for just the sake of trying to get another way to earn money, an easy way to earn money, I would quit. Honestly, yeah, I I would quit because because it isn't number one, it isn't something that I like doing. But if it's not something that I like doing, it isn't providing me with any joy it isn't you know giving me the sense of uh you know the sense of fulfillment that i did something productive or that uh, i made something good out of my day or anything like that and uh third thing monetary value did, doesn't give me any money so uh it doesn't check any of the three boxes so why why would i do it i would just uh throw it in the bin like just start another thing you know start another thing that could be more useful to me or uh much more help or much at least much more enjoyable uh but yeah but thanks to your guys' support and thanks to support in general and thanks to me backing up myself because of course sometimes you know when you don't have anybody else to count to the only person you can count to is yourself so you have to support yourself as well you know you have to pat yourself on the back for little victories little achievements and you know because sometimes no one will you know there might be friends your close friends your family so would but uh sometimes when you're down in the dumps and you really like hit rock bottom and you have no hope anymore the only person who can get you out of that and the only person who can support you in those times is sometimes yourself because at the end of the day we're all looking out for ourselves you know we do we do as much as we can to try to help others but there's a limit to that uh so yeah <laughs> look out for yourself and support yourself moving on to who another topic besides the importance because i've already stated the importance of support uh is that when you go or when you see yourself uh struggling in times when you're doing something that you have to didn't really want to uh this is what i this is what i would suggest in terms of self-support uh because let's start with that because you know you can't really depend if you're stuck depending on people for the rest of your life, you're going to be helpless because, okay, now everybody's selfish, of course. You know, we would want to help as much as we can, but there's a limit to that. <laughs> so I would say, I would suggest, uh, this is what I do as well. When you're in those tough spots, when you're in those down in the dumb days, when you're in those bad days that nothing really seems to work or click, uh, whether it be with your hobby, with your school, with your daily life or with your daily routine and then you're not sticking with it because you know you just feel bad just feel you know you want to sleep the whole day just look at little victories you know try to get yourself doing doing it trying to get yourself being a little bit more productive and by I mean productive i don't mean do a billion things in one day just try to do the things that you normally do that uh, help you know move your day forward you know your daily tasks your, your daily routine whether that be talk to family talk to friends interact play exercise uh do your business check out learn or anything like that or anything that piques your interest you know do your hobby for a while touch on it you know, try to improve your skill and all that uh, try to do that and when you do that try to not discourage you yourself when you're not getting it right you know try to motivate yourself a little bit try to give yourself a pep talk i know that it's it's kind of crazy to look at when someone talks to themselves, but just do it, you know, just do it because it's, 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 it can actually help. Just keep telling yourself that, okay, I'm not getting this right. What's going wrong? Like stop beating, stop beating around the bush uh, and just get straight to the point, you know, just try to, try to, try to learn from it. And when you do, when you do finally crack the code, when you do finally find that solution to the problem that you're having, uh, when trying to get yourself productive and all that, give yourself a pat on the back, <laughs> you know, uh, congratulate yourself. Just do that. I mean, you know, it may make you seem like a crazy person, but I mean, you know, who in this world is normal? Come on, let's be real. You know, all of us have our weird stuff that makes us unique, you know, all that, all that stuff. But then, yeah, uh, just 
just try to try to pat yourself on the back and say yeah i did you know this day didn't turn out so well this day wasn't going so good but uh i managed to pull through and i managed to overcome it you know celebrate the victories you know you you got a sale you got a deal you got you know you got a promotion celebrate you know you know you earned it <laughs> i mean you earned it you did your hard work you know you 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 pushed yourself to the limit and you got it so you know you deserve to celebrate you deserve that uh that accomplishment so yeah you gotta you gotta you know be happy for yourself as well uh because you know it's good to be continuously hungry because that keeps you striving for more and doesn't keep you satisfied with just being the little with just the little things but don't forget to also be contented with uh, the little victories you know don't take it for granted because they could lead up to big things you know uh you know it's a little stepping stones a little accomplishments that will get you to the big stuff soon because it'll develop you you'll grow and that's the thing you know so yeah that's some suggestions that i would say about self-support as well as you know as usual take care of yourself love yourself and uh be more happier you know uh you know because if you take care of yourself you love yourself it'll automatically come you know you you start to feel more alive more energetic more keen to do things and uh, more keen to do things properly and you'll have a greater attention to detail because you care about things if you care about things and if you love things boom that's an automatic you know you're gonna you're gonna perform well you're gonna do your best you're gonna put your maximum if you're gonna find out ways to improve and you're gonna focus on not the bad stuff but how to improve it and how to make it good so yeah there's another thing you know it's all about supporting yourself and then support from others will come but the most important thing is self-support you know support yourself throughout the day support yourself throughout your life throughout your career throughout your hobbies your family event because that's the only thing you can do you know when everything is about when everything is literally out of out of your control the only thing you can do is and the only thing you control is what you do how you behave how you speak how you interact how you do all of that and how you support yourself in tough situations because you need to have your back you know people will have your back i'm not gonna say that you're gonna be alone but you gotta have your back as well you know is at the end of the day it's you <laughs> it's you all right so yeah it's you who has your back it's you who can support you it's you who knows yourself the best all right and you know what you need to succeed and need to be happy and need to uh be satisfied with your life all right so don't forget to support yourself uh support from others will come it's not bad to ask for help it's not bad to seek you know some guidance or anything like that uh it's good to learn it's good to improve and it's good to be better every day you know and if you're not having such a good day don't worry it'll pass just push through it you know you got this and yeah you know, i'm telling you this right now uh but you you should already know this you know i mean i mean you know yourself after all you know i'm just a random stranger talking on the on instagram or youtube or where, wherever you're watching this from this podcast uh, you yourself know best so uh but you know just a little support you know you got this so yeah uh, that's all for this talk guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye